Hi guys! So, as you know, I'm going to Canada to do a workshop with Levi from Left Coast Media. And I'm going from Geneva and I will go to Vancouver, which is halfway across the world. So I will go by two planes. And I have to bring with me my camera gear and a lot of clothes. But I have a problem, because I have only one cabin bag to go with me. So let's see what I will bring with me as camera gear. So, this is my bag, I will talk about it later. Here is my only tripod that I will bring with me, the little man photo, and I am showing this one because it's the only item that does not fit into the camera bag. Here is also my mount for my camera cage when I want to have my both hands to climb and I also want to have my camera just next to me, ready to shoot. And now, let's open the bag. Here we have all the stuff that I will bring to Canada with me. I will have three lenses, I will have two camera bodies, and I will have a LED panel. Also, I will not bring the big one. I will bring with me two microphones, some mounts for the cage and the GoPro. Here I have some batteries. And now I will show you my main camera, the A6500. It's in a cage from Camvate currently. And here you can see some adjustments that I've made. Because I didn't like the small rig cage, I wanted a cage where I can still use the grip from the camera and also being able to access all the ports. And I, where I can mount a left handle and a top handle on some NATO rail, I guess. Here is the Peak Design plate and like this I can strap the camera cage on my shoulder. So here was my main body and here is my B camera, the small A5100 with the kit lens. I really like this camera as you may have noticed in some of my other video, you can do some selfies which is the only Sony that can do that. The third camera I will bring with me is the GoPro Hero 6. It's an awesome feature if you want to do some outdoor stuff and travel filmmaking. So now let's talk about lenses. I have three of them. Let's begin by my favorite lens, the Sigma 16mm f1.4. It's a really nice lens because you can, it's a wide angle lens and it's a really sharp and fast lens at f1.4. Here you can see that I have an ND filter on it to use it for videos. You need to have that if you want to shoot wide open. Here we have my most expensive lens, the Sony 35mm f1.4. This is more for portrait and some more cinematic shots. It's a standard prime lens and as you can see I have an ND filter on it. Now the last lens I will bring with me is the 18 to 105 f4 from Sony. It also have a dirty ND filter on it, as you can see with a lot of dust, so I will have to clean it. I will only bring one light with me, the little one from Aperture. I know that a lot of you already know this stuff, because a lot of uh, filmmakers on YouTube use it. It's a very strong light for its size, and it's a very cheap one. I think it's like 50 bucks or something. Then, let's talk about microphones. I will use the little Rode Vinomic Pro when we are on the go because you don't have to turn it on or off and I will use the big one, the Rode Vinomic Pro when we are more doing stuff like talking behind the camera or some more interview stuff both are great for what they do and of course the audio from the Rode Vinomic Pro is a bit better here we have some chargers for my batteries and here is the power bank that I will take with me. And here are all the batteries that I will bring with me. Six Sony batteries and three batteries for the GoPro. I also have this little blow thing to clean all my lenses. And I will use it on the ND filter for, for the 18 to 105. So now I will show you how I rig my A6500 with the Camvate cage. 
So first of all, let's get rid of the small microphone and let's put into it the big one. You just have to screw it into this uh, quick, I don't know how, I don't know the name of this plate. Here you can put the cable for the microphone. Here we have the top handle to have some smooth shots. Uh, where you can have some low profile shot near the ground and here we have the wood handle for the left and as you can see I can keep the grip of the A6500 now let's put the big boy on it the 35F 1.4 and now as you can see this is my main camera for shooting the a6500 with the 35 f 1.4 with two handle one from the left and one from the top and a microphone and just like that i can have some smooth shot for pushing pull out to do some traveling left to right and i can use it one hand or with two hands for a bit more smoothness in my shots as you can see here you have very nice grip on this setup so now let's put everything in place and now I can talk to you about the bag it's the low pro 350 aw it's a very nice bag very compact and very uh, strong I guess here I can just put the tripod on the side because there is a lot of strap and there is a lot of strap on this bag so you can fit a lot of items into it. So guys, remember to leave a like if you have enjoyed the video, subscribe if you want more of my content, if you want to see me in this new series in Canada, feel free to tell me what you think about this setup or ask me questions in the comments, I really like to talk with you. And I will see you guys in the next episode in Canada with a lot of nice guys to do some adventures. Awesome. Come to the workshop. Oh. <laughs>